evolution of resistance to insecticides. So over a third of the world's crops are prone to attack by pests and one of the common ways to try to rid this problem is to drop insecticides which are designed to kill the insects. Now ideally you'd use the lowest dose possible mainly because of concerns for harmful effects on the environment perhaps insecticides could affect the food chain. Now generally they'll be quite successful and may well kill most of the population of insects but due to genetic variation either by random mutation or sexual reproduction some flies may well have a partial resistance to such insecticides. It's worth noting a couple of the ways that the insecticide could actually affect the insects in the first place. One way that the uh, insects can resist insecticides is that they may have now got enzymes that actually break down the insecticide, they metabolize it. Or the receptors that the insecticide bound to have now changed shape. So the receptor and insecticide can no longer combine and insecticide can't get into the cells and kill them. So these flies have survived. The selective pressure for their survival was the insecticide. They survived, they can breed, pass on their alleles to the offspring with that partial resistance. So, the farmer having a successful season sprays the same insecticide again at the same concentration expecting the same results but what happens is that now probably very little effect on the population of pests population of insects because they all have this allele for partial resistance the only solution to do there is either change the insecticide or increase the concentration So, by increasing the concentration of insecticide, you would hope that even those flies with a partial resistance would be killed. But of course, there's still going to be a lot further variation. There's going to be random mutations taking place. There will be sexual vari uh, genetic variation by sexual reproduction, meiosis, and some flies some pests may now have greater resistance to the insecticide. They will survive breed, and pass on their alleles to the next generation. So once again the farmer expecting the insecticide to be sufficient to destroy most of the pests will find that in this occasion the insecticide is more or less useless. The net solution again, change insecticide once again increase the concentration. I'm just going to speed this plane up a little bit. There we are. It's a real heavy concentrated insecticide having no effect on the uh, insect size but it's now reached a level where it's counterproductive to the farmer because it may well cause damage to the crops therefore affecting yield but there are other concerns about using insecticides at such high concentration, at such high concentration because it may well now harm other insects which are useful such as the pollinators and it can also harm humans by getting into the food chain therefore we eat oh. food and these insecticides may well persist in our bodies for a good number of years